Jessica and those kids say that they knew something was wrong and so did other bus drivers here at the bus yard. Now investigators say that that bus driver showed up to work this morning and those other workers, they called police when she got onto her bus and drove off. I'm feeling kind of still shaking up about it. This sixth grader was one of about 30 students who had just gotten on the bus. Here it is pulling up to the first stop of the morning. When I got on the bus, she was like already a little angry. But when students boarded, they say something was off with their bus driver. Out of nowhere, she just started crying. She like was having a breakdown. She just started yelling. You guys think your life is hard? No, my life is harder. And it was just really um, sad. I, I was kind of like traumatized. Police quickly arrived before the bus continued along its route, boarding the bus and reporting that the driver smelled of alcohol and was slurring her words. Hi! 51 year old Jane Welsh was arrested, arriving to court where prosecutors revealed this was her second drunk driving arrest. This makes me think how many times did this happen before that we didn't catch it. It's left parents with questions about what checks were done before Welsh began driving for NRT bus. I want to understand why they didn't catch this sooner. The bus company says Welsh has now been fired, and even though police say it appears she never actually drove the bus after the students boarded, some students say she broke their trust. Really sad and frustrated with her because she was putting our lives in danger. Now, prosecutors say that second drunk driving charge dates back 24 years. The school district now demanding a full investigation into procedures here at the bus company. We're live in Westboro tonight. John Atwater, WCVB News Center 5.